The loss of those young men who were training to protect their country was a tragedy. And I don't know that enough Americans understood what that meant. So we both have work to do. So let's clear away the underbrush. Let's have the kind of open, candid conversation that you and I are having now and that we had earlier today. And then let the chips fall where they may. But let's not be misinterpreting and misrepresenting each other because then we can never, ever find common ground. Karen DeYoung of the Washington Post. Thank you. You've, sp you've spoken, um, Madam Secretary, of the work that both sides need to do, and you just referenced uh, public opinion. Uh, I wonder if, in terms of specifics, you've talked about what, the, what the, you would like the Pakistanis to do in counterterrorism fight. What more does the United States need to do to strengthen this relationship beyond public images? And specifically, did you speak about the question of visas, about the presence of U.S. law enforcement, intelligence and military officials here. Do you expect those numbers to go down? And finally, again on specifics, Secretary Gates and others in the United States have said that, as you said, uh, there's no evidence that senior officials here knew of the president presence of bin Laden, but that somebody knew. Uh, was that something that you discussed today? And what's your sense of how far the Pakistani investigations have, have gone on that? Yes, we did. We discussed um, uh, all of the issues that uh, you just raised, Karen. On the, on the last one, um, we discussed very frankly. Um, and our, our counterparts uh, in the government uh, were very forthcoming in saying that you know, somebody somewhere uh, was providing some kind of support. Um, and they are carrying out an investigation. And we have certainly offered to share whatever information we come across, and we intend to uh, be uh, consulting uh, closely as we go forward with them providing information they are finding and us reciprocating. Uh, you may know that uh, today uh, the United States uh, government got access to the compound thanks to the cooperation uh, of uh, the uh, ISI and the military. And we are working to try to uh, untangle uh, the puzzle of bin Laden's presence uh, in Abbottabad. Uh, but I want to stress again that uh, we have absolutely no reason to believe that anyone in the highest uh, levels of the government knew that. In fact, they were quite emotional in uh, conveying how they would have gone after him if uh, they had known he was there because as the president said, there's a lot of reason to believe Al-Qaeda was behind uh, his wife's murder. So there, there were common concerns about this, and uh, we had a, a very uh, forthright discussion. With respect to visas, look, our, our security assistance is uh, provided in coordination and uh, at the request of the Pakistani government and the Pakistani military. And we work closely with Pakistan to try to ensure that they have the training and the equipment uh, and that we have the personnel necessary to uh, support their counterinsurgency efforts. And the size of our presence at any time uh, in Pakistan is a function of the amount and type of uh, work that is needed to be done uh, to meet the Pakistani government's uh, request. And, um, you know, we have not noticed any, um, any official uh, statement uh, from the government of Pakistan that uh, in any way would uh, demonstrate uh, that uh, they're not going to be continuing to request uh, the kind of assistance we provide. And uh, we're going to continue to uh, offer uh, what we believe is uh, in our mutual best interests. Um, and Mike, do you want to add anything? The only thing I'd add, Karen, is uh, certainly uh, talked with uh, General Kiani, and in recent uh, really weeks and months about the level of military support we've been here uh, for some time at the invitation of the, of the Pakistani government, the Pakistani military working a training mission, and those numbers uh, go up and down over time, uh, and uh, there have been requests to reduce those numbers, and those are in consider and, and going through the details of what that means and how that looks uh, in the future is something we're working our way 
uh, through with them uh, literally as we speak. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks. लेते हैं चंदा भी लेते हैं खाले भी लेते हैं फितरा भी लेते हैं और जबरदस्ती लेते हैं मुतावजी में यह पॉलिसी है न मुतवदा पर यह इल्जाम कभी साबित हो सकता है किसी भी जगह पर आवाम ने आपको वोट क्यों नहीं दिया आवाम हमारे सादा लोग हैं और बहुत अच्छी बात है यह सादगी अब वो सादगी से सादगी से लेंगे आज तो जमहूरियत जो है उसके अंदर वो फैसले हो रहे हैं जो पार्लियामेंट को जो है वो इतमाद में लिए नहीं जाता इस बिकाऊ पाकिस्तान में तो तारीख भी बिकाऊ हो गई है ये जो एक बुरहान पैदा किया गया अपनी अयाशियों के लिए अपनी शाह खर्चियों के लिए ये बंद किया जाए जरदारी साहब की करप्शन के हम किससे सुनते रहे जरदारी साहब तो अब एक फरिश्ता लगते हैं अल्लाह के साथ इनसे पूछेगी हब्स बढ़ जाए तो बीनाई चली जाती है खिड़कियां खोल के रख ताजा हवा आने दे प्रोग्राम दरकश में आसिफ महमूद आपको खुशा मदीद कहता है नाजरीन पाकिस्तान का मुस्तबिल क्या है बहुत मुख्तर सा सवाल आज हम उठाएंगे और जाहिर इस सवाल के साथ बहुत सी तल्ख बातें इसके साथ मुंसलिक हैं जो हम जानने की कोशिश करेंगे मेहमान हमारे से तशीफ रखते हैं अब्दुल बदूद कुरेशी साहब मारूफ साफी हैं सीनियर जर्नलिस्ट हैं और इनसे यकीन हम जानने की कोशिश करेंगे कि आज के हालात की बर्बादी में और आज के पाकिस्तान को तबाह करने में इनके शोबे का किस हद तक हाथ है जो कुछ हम इन दिनों में देख रहे हैं यू लग रहा है मैं उसी तबके का ऐसा हूं लेकिन यू लग रहा है कि अलकायदा और अमरीका से ज्यादा एंकर ब्रिगेड मुसलत हो गया इस कौन के ऊपर और जिसको कुछ पता नहीं किसी इशू का जिसको कुछ पता नहीं कि कहां आपकी हदूद खत्म हो रही है कहां आपकी हदूद शुरू हो रही है दुनिया के हर इशू के ऊपर बेतकान लंबी चौड़ी बेमगज गुफ्तगु करना और सनसनी फैलाना इसके ऊपर हम इनसे राय लेंगे और रियास फितियाना सब 